The big question now is how do you fix it going forward if you're Arsenal? That's the big question. I don't know if Mikel Arteta has the answers or Edu or Raul Sanieri or whoever else at the club. I think there's a big game coming up away at Southampton. That's not going to be easy. They can well lose that one as well and things will get worse and worse. There's so many things to change in, just in terms of squad to start with because I think Arteta, is a, although he doesn't have much experience, I think he's, the, he's probably the right man for the job. He, he loves the club. He's got a good idea, although I would like to see a bit more consistency in what he tries to do because against City, he plays the kids. OK, no problem. That's your call. But then you change everything again three days later and you bench the kids and you play your more experienced players like like Lacazette, like for example. And then what is he going to do next? He's going to reverse again and go back with the kids and then bench the same people. I mean, he also needs to keep the same direction and stick with it, whether it's good or not, whether it works at the beginning or not, just stick with it and send the same message all the way through, not just one day one message and the next day another message and then another message again. But I think he's, he's, you know, he's the right guy for, for the job, but then there's so much rebuilding to do in that squad, so much character to bring in, the, the not so good character to get rid of, there's players who are not good enough, not, ju not even just for Arsenal level, for Premier League level. I mean, come on, today, Ceballos, I mean, what was that? He does 1,000 touches every time he's on the ball. I mean, Mustafi at the back. Stevie, right now, Stevie is a better defender than Skodran Mustafi. There's no doubt. Frank, I mean, Frank is, is, is definitely much better. But even Stevie at his age is much better than Mustafi. I mean, <laughs> come on, this, this can't go on for much longer. But it's we all know we, we've had this discussion I feel like for the last couple of years Jules and we talked about the fact that they need to bring in leaders they need to bring in top quality defenders yet here we were on the last day of the transfer window last year and they had to make do with David Luiz how is things going to change if you can't attract the sort of players that you need that you want that you are looking to bolster this squad you just kind of see that Arsenal just going around in this weird vicious circle you're right, there's a, there's a bit of that. I mean, leaders doesn't mean, doesn't have to be the most expensive players in the world either. That's where your, your, your scouting network and your recruitment uh, team has to do the, their homework and their work. You don't need to go and spend 100 million on one player who is a leader. There's a, there are leaders who are not costing that much money. You just need to find the right leaders and the right players to, 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 to improve that squad. And I don't think this is too hard. The problem they've had as well is that they can't sell players. Who wants to buy Mustafi? Right now, nobody, trust me, in, in, in no league whatsoever, in no countries. Mesut Ozil is the same and the list goes on and on. And the problem is, if you don't sell, you can't just keep buying players and making your squad 25 players, 30 players, 35 players, because you add players, but you don't sell players. So they will have to sell and try to sell as many as they can, the players they don't want. And then when they're going to replace them, at least find the right one, and especially as we said in terms of character Frank, and leadership. You know, I like to play devil's advocate and maybe go against the grain a little, but it's difficult to find anything positive at the moment to say about Arsenal at all, not only from today's performance and what we saw against City, but just the big picture going forward. Yeah, that's uh, quite of dramatic what we see. And again, um, because we have a high expectation about that club and, uh, and the fact that that club should be at the top level fighting in the, in the first uh, four places uh, in the rank, and, and they're not, because they're not capable of, and because we ask too much for those players who are not top players. Um, Jews were, were talking about those players who should go, and you were asking if uh, who could come, but don't worry, uh, and that's the sadness of, of, of everything. Nobody wants to come to Arsenal right now because Arsenal is not the club it used to be. And top players don't want to go to Arsenal because what they're going to do there? They have to buy 10 players. But as you say, you don't need to spend 100 million for each. You have to be clever. And that's the main problem. In the 90s, uh, between 95, 96 and 2001, when I was playing against Arsenal, they were so clever on recruiting good young players. They don't do that anymore, so you don't see anything anymore. And, and, and that's, that's the result of a bad uh, performances for, uh, for also what's going on in the, in the, the office of uh, the, uh, the, the club. Because they don't recruit the right people for the right club. It's a mess in it, Stevie. Listen, if there's any sort of positive thing, it has to be the young kids. You know, the Martinelli's and, and, and Ketias, the Maitland Niles. Unfortunately for Ateta, the only way these kids can get to the full potential is if, if they're surrounded by hardened pros, leaders, people with 
people with, with courage and a big heart, but ability. Uh, and right now, these young kids are surrounded by none of that whatsoever. And Dan, that's true what CV says. Um, at the time when I was talking, uh, when they were recruiting young guys, they had Tony Adams, uh, Jan Wright, um, um, Martin Keon, Ray Parler, uh, so many Dixon. fantastic, uh, yeah. Yeah, Dixon, uh, f so many fantastic players, and they could bring young players who were completely st 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 uh, sticking to, 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 to what the club was. Now it's hard for the youngs because mm. they have nobody around them. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.